my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys this is for those that are having difficulty in your finances or difficulty finding a job whatever your situation is in regards to your finances this is going to give you the boost that you need for those of you guys that have your own business or run your own business this is ideal um, as this will definitely create a uh, an energy of not only abundance but to growth uh, for growth in regards to cl your clientele uh, so this is definitely that boost that you need now the ingredients are extensive and it is a process this is a seven day ritual so you are going to be needing a seven day candle now I will take you step by step uh, first let's begin with the ingredients you're going to be needing a orange just one and you're going to cut it, as you can see here, into slices. Now you're also going to be needing a uh, some type of plate, ceramic plate, ideally, because you're going to be burning here. You're also going to be needing either a green, orange, or yellow uh, posty or piece of paper, a green marker. You're also going to be needing some rice, some honey, uh, some cinnamon, you're going to be needing some gold or metallic gold or gold powder. You're also going to be using some eye bright powder. You're going to be using some type of money cologne, whether it's Don Dinero, whether it's um, money, success, anything that has to do with, uh, with wealth, with money, with prosperity. You're also going to be needing some Florida water here, as you guys can see. And um, we're going to be using jade paper. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, jade paper is uh, money that we burn that is specifically used in spiritual, either spiritual rituals or spiritual uh, spells where you are including or introducing work directly working with your ancestors, which this uh, spell is specifically for that. And you're going to be needing seven of these as it is a seven day ritual, like I mentioned. You're also going to need um, some patchouli, as you guys can see here. And um, like I said, a seven day candle. Ideally, it would be green or a uh, orange um, candle. Now, as well as some honey. Sorry, I forgot to mention. We're going to be using some honey here. Um, all right, like I said, it is a bit extensive and it is a process. So I'm going to take you step by step. Let's get to witching. First and foremost, it is very crucial and very important, whatever candle that you're working with, uh, to cleanse it, to remove any type of negative or excess negative energy. If you're buying your candles at any botanical shop or shop or store, uh, people pick them up, they touch them, even to process or to package them. So it is very important to remove that type of energy, which is why we're going to be using the Florida water. So you would put some Florida water in the palm of your hands. And if you're using a seven day glass candle like this, you're going to um, you're going to hold the candle with both your hands and rub the Florida water um, all over the candle, uh, really claiming or, you know, uh, chanting, I remove any negative or excess negative energies. I purify it, cleanse it and strengthen and empower it for the work that is about to begin. Once you're done with that, what you're going to do now is you're going to be rubbing some of the Don Dinero Cologne or Money Cologne or Success or Crown of Success um, uh, Cologne or Oil, whatever it is that you're using, making sure to integrate some inside the candle as well. Uh, moving forward, what we're going to do here is we're going to get we're going to get the uh, whatever paper you're using, and this is going to be your petition. So we start off by first putting your first and last name and your DOB, which is your date of birth, like this, okay? Once you do that, you're going to turn it to the right and you're going to write down your petition. So for those of you guys that are looking for a job, if you have a specific job or specific uh, corporation, specific, a specific place where you're wanting to work, you would integrate that in your petition. 
as well as uh, if you have an idea of what they pay or what you're wanting to get paid, you can also put that on there. Now, if you're not doing it specific and it's general, you can keep it general um, or as specific as possible. Now, when we are specific, you have to remember that you're kind of narrowing down exactly what it is that you're wanting to bring through. So my advice to you guys is keep it a bit uh, general, but be very direct and to the point in regards to what you're wanting. As an example, um, I call forth the abundance, the prosperity for my business. Uh, if there is a specific amount that you're trying to make a month, you would write that or integrate that in your petition. I hope that makes sense. Make it as simplistic as possible. Then you're going to turn it to the right again, and you're going to thank your spirits and your ancestors. You can say something like, I thank um, my spirit guides and my ancestors for being present for opening the doors of success, of abundance, of opulence that is experience all around me. I thank you and you're going to sign the petition. Once you have signed it, you're going to, this is very crucial and very important, you guys, you need to get the piece of paper and you're going to pass it all around you. Yes, all around you. You're going to rub the petition all around you from head to toe, all around you. And when you're doing this, it is very important to keep a heart of gratitude and being thankful. My advice would be to pass while you're passing the petition uh, in your mind's eye, you know, really uh, focus and um, in receiving, you know, how are you going to feel when you're receiving uh, or when you start to see the amount that you're making a month or when you start to see money come through many different avenues. How excited are you going to be? Um, be thankful. Continuously keep telling your ancestors that you're blessed, that you're thankful for the work that they are doing in the spirit realm to bring to you that abundance, to bring to you that opulence. It is crucial to be able to experience the full results and manifestations of this spell to genuinely thank your ancestors. This is crucial. Once that is done, you're going to get the petition paper. You're going to put it in a plate or somewhere where you're able to integrate the rest of the ingredients. Now, as you can see here, you're going to add some cinnamon and we're going to add some eyebright. Now, eyebright is a powder that is used commonly um, to open the eyes or open um, clarity in regards to a situation. Now, for this money spell, what we're doing is we are introducing the eye bright so that we can be better be able to see the opportunities that present themselves um, to us that are going to guide us or help us or propel us to experience the abundance and the manifestation. So that's the reason why we're integrating some eye bright on there. Now, once that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put some rice all around your plate and on top of the petition paper. Now, rice is obviously uh, used for anything that has to do with abundance, with anything that has to do with success, with long-term success. And it also, uh, it also brings to you the opportunity, any, you know, any difficulties, any obstacles or anything like that, it is able to absorb it and remove it uh, so that the energy and the manifestation can flow organically without any resistance. Okay, so once we're done with that, what we're going to do is we're going to get the oranges um, or the orange uh, that we cut and we're going to go around the plate as such. Okay. Now, remember to keep one to the side because you're going to use this. You're going to have to uh, eat this or uh, enjoy it uh, once the ritual is completed, okay? Let me move this to the side really quick. All right, so 
what we're going to do now is we're going to add some of the gold powder now you did uh you can use gold i prefer to use gold i feel that it gives a stronger results but you can also use silver or copper okay just uh letting you guys know so we're going to go all around the plate as such and we're going to put some at the center where the petition and we're going to add some to the candle okay all right once that is done what we're going to do now is you would put some of the cinnamon uh, cinnamon powder on top of and around the plate and um, on the rice as well as on the oranges very important to put uh, the cinnamon on the oranges here and put some on top of or inside the candle as you guys can see we've already done that because we've already prepared it okay so once that is done what we're going to do now is we're going to get some of the king solomon um, spiritual water now you guys can get this at any botanical shop if you don't have this you can always use king solomon oil um, and ideally what you're going to do is just pour some on your hands and rub some on the candle as well as sprinkle some in the oranges and okay um if you guys don't know how it looks it looks like this okay all right so once that is done what we're gonna do now is let me move this really quick okay all right so once that is done we're going to get some of the patchouli leaves and we're gonna go around the plate and make sure to put some on top of your oranges. Now, oranges are always used um, primarily when we're doing abundance spells as an offering to the spirits. Okay. Okay. Once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead with the honey what you're going to do is you're going to get some of the honey and you're going to go all around the plate in a clockwise okay why are we doing it in a clockwise because we are um we are empowering the spell we are raising the vibration uh, so that it can come quicker to us okay it is very important um when doing these types of spells you guys to do it with the most love and gratitude like i said um when we're talking about really anything that has to do with spell work in regards to working with our ancestors okay so you know take your time when doing the spell really put love into this work and i guarantee you guys you guys are going to see amazing results all right so we're going to put that there make sure to add some of the honey to the orange that you're going to be eating when you are casting the ritual all right, my lovely, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is we are going to get, like I said, it is a seven day ritual. So you're going to, and preferably uh, do this type of spell work in the full moon or the new moon when we're working towards the waxing moon, um, because it's really going to amplify, like I said, and give you amazing results, okay? All right, so once that is done, um, now, 
here is a tip for you guys, for those of you guys that are using a seven day candle, you can get any type of um, money candle that you can find in a botanical shop. Now, I can tell you guys, when getting anything from a botanical shop, it is important to still uh, cleanse it and ritualize it and prepare it for your workings. Why? You have to keep in mind that all these candles that are delivered to botanical shops are manufactured, which means they're done in masses, which means that they're not worked on. So you can get a $20, $40 candle in a botanical shop and you still have to put in the work because it's not prepared. Um, so you can get a clear green candle like this and you can prepare it yourself. Ideally, you would put a money sign or whatever is represent, uh, represents, uh, represented, oh my God, I am tongue tied. Whatever represents money and wealth to you. Obviously, we can all connect with the money sign as it is something that is worldly uh, recognized. So we would put the money sign and you're going to put money comes to me and on the other side times three. Now, to really empower this candle, what you can do is at the top, you're going to put your first and last name date of birth and right at the center, meaning where the money sign is at, you can also draw a magnet, you can whatever represents to you money and that the money's coming towards you. That's the symbol you're going to be using. You guys have to remember that when we're talking about witchcraft and spell work, symbols are something that extremely powerful that we use. This is why we use sigils. This is why we use runes, because they carry a very strong and powerful vibration. So again, um, you would use whatever symbolizes to you money or abundance. Um, we decided to go with the money sign, obviously, like I said, because everyone recognizes that as money. Now, right below that symbol, whatever symbol you're using, you can put the time of your date of birth. So the time that you were born into this material, you can put it here. Why does it empower it? It empowers it because it makes it personal. It is directly, it, think of yourself as you are creating yourself a magnet uh, in the spirit realm, right? Um, and this is only going to empower you. It's going to give you the ability to be able to see and seize the moment when we're talking about opportunities, when we're talking about success, when we're talking about abundance. So again, if you're trying to get a job or something and you go and you find out that there is four or five other people that are applying for the same job, doing this personal candle that you're working is going to not only empower you, but it's going to make you stand out from the competition. They're no longer a competition. So again, very important. All right. So once we're done with all of that, before we light the candle, we're going to get the jade paper. And we're going to really put energy towards it by holding it in our hands. And you can say a chant or prayer to your ancestors. If you want to connect specifically with them, say whatever comes to your heart. As an example, I thank my ancestors for being present in this working. I thank you all for assisting me and opening the doors of opulence and success and abundance to me. Clearing out any blockages, whether it is experienced in uh, generational curses, whether it's in debts that have been um, or that are still currently active, I ask you to take this petition and to seize those debts and to, um, what's the word I was looking for? Sorry, I went completely blank. Um, to seize those debts and to take this as a petition and offering to you my ancestors and you can call them by name if you know who you're working with if you're just generalizing and working with your spiritual army uh you can like i said you know just keep it general and say thank you my ancestors thank you for being present thank you for giving me the signs and opening my eyes uh, to the opportunities that present themselves so once that is done what you're going to do is you're going to light the jade paper and you're going to light it and let it burn out completely. Um, if it turns off and there, you can still see pieces of 
the jade paper, you must light it again and let it completely extinguish until it becomes ash. Once the ash, um, once the once the jade paper has turned into ash, you're gonna light your candle, and you're gonna do this. You're gonna let the candle undisturbed. You're not going to turn it off. You're gonna let it burn out completely. Now the jade paper must be burned every single night. Like I said, it is a seven day ritual. So you're gonna light it for seven nights. Every night you're gonna light one jade paper. Again, taking your time, thanking your ancestors and your spirit guides for the blessings that they're bringing into your life. And at the end, after the once the seventh day, the seventh uh, jade paper you've burned, you're gonna have a plate full of ashes. And what you're going to do is you're gonna disperse them in the plate, in, in this plate here, or whatever plate you're using where you have all these ingredients. And once the uh, candle has been completely extinguished, um, you can toss it out. Um, you can do whatever you want with the candle. Ideally, just, you know, toss it out. Um, but it is crucial and important not to toss this to the trash. What you're going to do is you're going to take the ashes. You're going to disperse the ashes in on this plate. And you're going to take all these ingredients to a bush, to a tree, uh, to your rose bush, whatever it is that you have in your garden. And you're going to disperse it there, thanking the spirits and thanking uh, your ancestors. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you amazing guys, uh, amazing results, guys. And definitely come back, comment and let us know what your experience was. I send you guys many blessings and we'll see each other soon. Bye.